welcome to Fashion TV. My name is Louise Houghton and we're here in London for the opening of the Artifacts exhibition by Olga Lamarca. It's presented by Fine Art at the legendary Saatchi Gallery, so let's step inside. Olga Lamarca is a Russian London-based fashion artist. Her style is very distinctive and it involves mixing materials and techniques. We're here to see her latest project called Artifacts that includes a series of Buddha images carved onto wooden panels. As you will notice, the challenging technique of aerography covers certain areas of the wooden base. The Buddha symbolizes centuries of human wisdom and age-tested values. These values clash with the idols and fetishes of the post-postmodern generation, symbolized by technological or consumerist icons from the fashion industry, pop culture, or the digital world. We also have the Royal Guru, a sculpture made especially for this show to celebrate the Queen's 90th birthday. There's so many people here tonight, designers, collectors, celebrities. Let's go and meet them. different. I mean, there's a bit of a sort of a, it's a bit of a mixture between sort of a poppy element, obviously, and something a little bit more uh, earthy and uh, uh, I don't want to say religious because I know that the whole Buddha symbol has that sort of religious undertones. I think it's very original, very interesting, very current and modern. I think it goes very well with the time today. And she's uh, conveying a very interesting message with uh, all this iconic art and uh, things that you are familiarized with since you are a child. So it's very nostalgic as well. Uh, the artwork is speaks for itself. I think it's a perfect pop art with a little touch of, you know, rustic wood. It looks great. I love it. I really do. Last year in Kiev, um, and this is uh, this is really good fun. This show, 
Um, one of the things I really like about her is that it's got a lot of humour and wit in it. Um, some of these pieces are quite rude as well. <laughs> I actually was just about to ask her how much of an influence Andy Warhol is, because I think there's quite a lot of the pop art influence going on. I love um, anything which is done. I'm a purveyor of good taste and style, whether it's like a painting, whether it's a movie. Each and every painting represents our current world in which we live in. And for me, the style is pop art, you know? So you've got like a wooden sculpture, which sort of like, you know, intimates towards a more traditional type of art. But then you've got these very sort of like, you know, pop arty kind of like images and like logos and like the thumbs up, the likes, which is very much a contemporary phenomenon in, in the world of art. We're so proud to be here and supporting Olga Lamata uh, with her new exhibition, Artifacts. So thank you for coming, ladies and gentlemen. Tell us a little bit about interviewing her because you've got a fantastic article in the magazine, two page spread on yeah. your exhibition. So uh, we decided to support Olga Lamata because we believe that she's a very talented Russian artist and um, we, we found out that the artist like you her art, Uda art, something interesting and something new on the market. Well, I'm joined right now by the in-house DJ of the night, Hugo. So what is it that you feel matches between your music and the art? My music is a good combination of very contemporary sounds with traditional sounds that make sounds from all over the world. So I like the fact that she's taking something traditional, the wooden art, and then added kind of really modern, iconic images to it. Do you have a favorite one? Well, I've got a seven-year-old boy who's obsessed with Minecraft, so the Minecraft creeper just chewed up from where I am, caught my eye as soon as I walked in the room. <laughs> I'm sure he'd love that in his bedroom. I'm not going to be buying it for Christmas, though. To be fair, like, I think quite all of them. I think the Big Apple is quite brilliant, and of course the, the Rolex, the, the King, <laughs> is rather brilliant as well. But I think Olga is a very talented artist, and I think all of her works are really special. Instagram, Snapchat, that one. I love that. I, there's a piece I really like. It was a bit of a tough choice, but I think in the end, I, the one that actually kind of jumped out at me and made me smile the most was undoubtedly the Karl Lagerfeld, because who doesn't like Karl Lagerfeld? I am eyeing on the Superman painting, which I think would look great in my living room. <laughs> I like the 999.91, the gold one at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> the highest purity of the gold that you sell is 99.9% purity, so I like that. Facebook's also quite good and fairly popular. Do you have a favourite? I'm standing right next to it here. Oh, Carl Lagerfeld! It's uh, one of my favourite films being modeled in Zoolander. Oh. And, I mean, Carl Lagerfeld is a genius, but it's also slightly comical. Well, I think it's, it's exactly sort of, it's, it's a good combination of being, uh, bringing something original, but also what people see every day in terms of the icons and the logos that people recognize, and bringing it into a different dimension with more sort of tribal art that you sort of find in Africa or Southeast Asia. Oh, I absolutely loved it. And um, August really my close friend, and um, I see him working on this uh, project for a long time and I'm really proud of her. Is this the first time you've seen any of Olga Lamata's work? No, I've actually been uh, quite a fan of Olga's work, but um, I've seen it online. I've never got to, got to see it in person before and I think it's actually rather brilliant. I just fell in love with it. Um, 
It's a friend of mine that makes them. I've been informed apparently it's been worn, uh, the same one was designed for Michael Jackson for a video. Would you like to show us your bags that I know is part of your own collection? Okay, of course. So this is uh, one of our uh, Mad Libs bags, which is named after the famous uh, nightclub. Have you spotted a, a fab outfit in here that you like to see me? There's some very well dressed people in the room, but I have to say the star of the show is Olga. She looks incredible. Can you tell me a little bit more about your outfit? Um, I'm very top by Gucci uh, and my skirt by Givenchy, uh, earrings by Arnie and uh, my shoes are the same. Uh, so, yeah. On the bag as well, it's absolutely stunning. You look fabulous this evening. A couple of the fashion bloggers said that you were the best dressed lady in the house. So congratulations and congratulations on a wonderful evening. It's a real success. Everybody has been so enthusiastic for you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Saatchi Gallery is home to many famous art exhibitions and art fairs and it's been the perfect venue for Olga Lamarca's private viewing tonight. I hope you've enjoyed touring the artefacts with us and meeting so many stylish and engaging people. My name is Louise Houghton and after what's been a successful and glamorous evening, all that's left for me to do is to congratulate Olga on her remarkable work. Follow Fashion TV for more of the best art parties. I love Fashion TV. I'm Olga Lamarca and I'm lost Fashion TV. I love Fashion TV. I love Fashion TV. I love Fashion TV. Hello, I'm Sophie ellis Baxter, and I love Fashion TV. And I love Fashion TV. 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 And I love Fashion TV.